form. How does it look? Is this a form check? Are you thinking about it? Wait, that doesn't look like I'm not thinking about it. I can't tell if you're thinking or not thinking. So it's all not thinking. It's good form, no matter what. Uh, see, is it too close to my face? Yeah, I know how you don't like close-ups. I know. I work on East Coast time, hybrid, I guess. East Coast, West Coast hours. How does a Jenna start her day? Some coffee and a banana. So it makes sense for me to finish up my workouts by like eight. Quickly, what was your favorite race from last year? Mm. You hear that I signed up for another race? I did, I did hear that. I can't keep track. Oregon was fun. Yeah, why Oregon? Just because it was a very last second thing. We had no intentions of going up to Oregon until like a couple weeks beforehand. I think I want to do Worlds. And I think I have one last easy shot to be able to do it this year. And then we went on an adventure. Brand new race, 12 hour drive for us, something like that. This is stop one, we're in Ashland. How are the legs feeling? A little stiff. Here we are at Ironman 70.3 Oregon. How did it end up? Where are we going? That was a good For breakfast. Question. Good, I got my world slot up there. I'm pretty sure they were just giving out slots to anybody who wanted to go so that they could make more money on the race. Jenna Hoffler! I finished this race. Unlike Florida, 70.3. I started cramping like really badly. I feel like she still has a chance to qualify for the world championship. Trying to stay as calm as possible, all of a sudden felt like I couldn't breathe. Is qualifying for world something you want to do this year again? Yeah. You can't control who's going to show up at a race and like how well those people are going to do, but my goal is to qualify for Worlds and like, I don't know, get first or second in my age group at whatever races I'm doing. Let's go to swim practice. Let's go to swim practice. What does Jenna need to do to have a good season? Well, she needs to work out. Pretty simple stuff. She needs to get herself in the water. Thursday morning is surprisingly difficult. Good. <laughs> Always. Okay, bye. What are you gonna go do now? I'm gonna go left. First I have to redo my hair because, oh. <sighs> We're doing a little car confessional here. So, right now I am at the gym, just got out of the water and came over to the gym, which is like a few minutes away from the pool. It's really easy for us. Last year was a good year. I am really proud of what I achieved last year, especially given the circumstances. I feel like I was really excited about Training. I like to be screamed at. Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that on repeat. Quantity and not quality.
there were a lot of times last year that I felt really good during the season and at that point I pushed it too far when I would feel just like a little bit of pain here or there I'd be like oh it's fine like I can push through it it'll be better in a couple days I was supposed to hold around a seven minute pace but I think I did to that threshold <laughs> with the intensity that this sport brings it doesn't get better in a couple days if you don't put some like work into making it better aqua jogging is now my fourth sport when i was healthy i was really happy when i was hurt hip pain knee pain i felt helpless like i was barely hanging on by a thread this year is the opportunity for me to focus on getting stronger functionally, do everything I can to make sure that I am staying healthy, fuel my body right, train my body in the right ways so that when intensity and hours of training are going up, I don't get hurt again. <laughs> Oops. There probably will be a time this season when things don't come together. Last year, I would get really down on myself. I'm just upset about my leg. It'll feel good. You just gotta believe. I just, I don't know what to do to make it feel better. This year, I want to show myself some compassion, even when that does happen. What you doing? My job. I'm the senior photo and video manager at a grocery delivery company <laughs> that you've probably heard of by now. <laughs> they give you $40 off. Excuse me, 40% off. No, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> We're not doing that yeah. this video, we promise. What's the rest of your day like today? Working until around four and then we're gonna go for a run. And then I've got a dermatologist appointment later. Oh yeah, because why? In April, they found basal cell carcinoma on my face. Basal cell carcinoma is skin cancer. What did that teach you? That the world is gonna throw some hard things at you, but it's good to have people around you too, to help hold you up. Don't make me cry. It was a weird couple months. I had races lined up and I didn't want to not do them. With your cool new goggles. Yeah, that was ridiculous. <laughs> I can still do really well even if the conditions are not right. And when I say conditions, I don't mean race day conditions. I mean like physical and mental conditions. <laughs> Wear your sunscreen, kids. <laughs> yeah, move all my crop. Are you taking this back? Maybe. I brought out all my options. And they're like, who should I give my rose to? I don't have a romantic connection with anybody here, but I might as well just give it to somebody who like, we all like. We have very intense conversations <laughs> about reality TV in here <laughs> while I'm eating my cereal and while Jenna is getting ready for her run. <laughs> Yeah, talk to me about your running. I'm gonna have to clean that lens. Jenna doing a run, her first key intensity run for a while. Last year I wasn't doing any intensity. Today is like my first official, official intensity. That's more than, what, two minutes? And I'm also eating more, I think. Bye. Cool. Have fun, I'll see you out there. Yeah, she just needs to be unafraid to go faster.
my training has more intention this year, not just going into every workout being like, okay, let's finish this and be done with it. I'm thinking about every workout being something to get me to my goal. I think she has the potential to be an insanely fast runner. She's got the balance, the strength, the ambition. There's just this little seed of doubt causing some hesitation when she runs fast, but we're gonna see Jenna run pretty freaking fast this year. Last year I was running for my ego, and this year I'm running just for me. that I'm never gonna look 100% like a runner. Similar to how somebody who learned how to swim as an adult is never gonna look like somebody who did swimming when they were younger. Like learned how to swim as a kid and kept swimming. And that's okay. I don't have to look like a runner. You just have to be a runner. I just have to try to run fast and think like a runner. Woo. Did I tell you that I was afraid to do that? Not about doing it, but about how it would go. That could be our album cover. Yeah, right. <laughs>